hey guys hey welcome back thank you so much for clicking so if you are new here i'm selma and i just want to make this video in a few few minutes and without wasting time so guys today i want to share the biggest testimony see this testimony maybe to someone can be just uh, smaller things but to me this year this is the biggest testimony of my life I'm not saying this here. See, guys. So, so guys, if you have been following me for a very long time, I just that I've been not consistent, but last year I was very consistent with my channel. Um, you know that I used to say that I was a student, but that is over for now. So today I want to share a testimony that the Lord Almighty God the God I says, by his mercy and by his grace, he made it possible for me. So this year, it was the year that, this is the year I graduated. Let me just say that. So this is the year I was, I graduated. So then, for you to graduate, um, there are just things to do. If you want to attend the graduation pass whereby your names are going to be called and then you are going to be inaugurated that now you are a bachelor's holder. There is that thing. And you have to you have to buy a gown. By the grace of God, I was having some money on my account of the school, so I was not that was not a problem to me. But there was a certificate that I been uh, that I I have that I, it was supposed to go at school. Otherwise, I would not graduate. But that certificate, since I got that certificate, it, it, I did not get it in my hands. So it was very very far where I came from, uh, at, uh, where I came from in the north. But I'm staying in the coastal town, so it's like 800 kilometers away from me, or 1,000 kilometers away from me. So I was supposed to have that certificate. There were just things that are just not in place for me to graduate. So now I was like, I was not having any money. Like, how will I get that certificate? Because I, I, I maybe have to send someone there. And my God, the way it happened, it was just like, just like that. It just happened. Um, I get a contact to one of the teacher from that school. And then the teacher helped me to take uh, the school. It's not in the, it is somehow out of the town. He, the teacher took that, my certificate to one of my friends in the town. And now to, to get that certificate to where I am here in this town for me to submit to that school, it was still a problem. You still need money, but I was not having any money. I remember discussing it with one of my auntie. And just like that, maybe after two days or three days, then ah, I got someone coming at your town from here. Oh my God. Just like this, I did not pay anything. I, I received my certificate and then I was able to go and submit it at my university. Now, I'm done with that. I'm registered. You are going to be in that, um, you are going to be in the list of the graduates. Now, I want to attend that 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 ceremony i want to attend that ceremony i want to wear my cowl and stand and be in 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 the midst of my fellow graduates there's no money there is no money i remember i prayed to god that you god let me graduate this year let me know nothing to hinder me from my graduation Yes, let me, God, see, the Bible said, God will do, um, the Bible said, God will do exceedingly above what you can imagine. So God does not want us to, to for you just to, to, to receive your, 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 your degree, but you, you did not attend. No, maybe that is what you imagined. But that, was, that is not the plan of God. He says what you ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. He will do it. Sorry guys, I was disturbed. Let us continue with my biggest testimony of this year. So as I said, uh, the, uh, 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 the Bible said, we must ask anything in the name of the Lord. And God Almighty will do it. Um, so, 
um, I, I then submitted that certificate and then um, and then um, it's now the time of me um, going to the ceremony and this ceremony is not held in the town that I, I am it is it, it was held in the capital of capital city in Windhoek, Windhoek here in Namibia and I remember I see in that day is a special day to me it's like maybe it's my first wedding it's just a great achievement you know it was a long four, four years of suffering of pain sleepless night you just want to experience you know so then I remember I don't have I just I just want that that new dress I don't have money for that new dress I remember transport money to go there it's to, you pay I from from my town maybe you have to pay $200 going and coming back make a good thing I don't do makeup but you just have to look nice that day you know some people who make even their both of their parents to travel and that is a lot of money and the good thing my mom is already in the capital so no problem so what happened is this hmm. I remember there was this time I was just in a state of of in a state of the same state and then I go in Matthew I think it's Matthew 6 from 26 somewhere there Matthew chapter 6 or 26 somewhere there that do not worry of what to eat of what to eat that is how the the, the people of the world worries about that thing but as for you only seek the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you I remember that verse and also there's this verse I think it's Philippians 4 6 or 4 6 4 just there there's this verse of I remember that verse one day I was just in my devotion my evening devotion I was, and I and I thought how am I going I'm here I know I'm in the list of the graduate. I don't have a new dress. I don't have transport money. How am I going to, to make it? And then that those verse comes. And then I remember I went in my notebook and then I, I, got, I read that verse. That verse says, don't be anxious of anything. In everything, thank God and submit your petition to him. And I was like, why should I be anxious of this? If it's up, it, if see, if God says yes, nobody will say no. So if it's supposed to happen, then it will happen. And if it's not, then it's fine. I I I remember I broke down in tears, maybe for a minute, and then I just calmed down, and then I finished my prayers, and then I I went to sleep. Okay, days are going. Days are going. I remember I want, I want maybe to ask people of money, like I'm going to graduate. And some people will be calling me, ah, so this, uh, even my family members will be like, so you are going to graduate? And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm here and I don't even have transport money. How am I going to go there? So, but I, they were just that thing. It's like, I want to ask, but there's just that delay. I just can't ask. I just I couldn't ask anybody so I remember even telling my uncles there um, at the city that I'm going to graduate where I'm going to stay now for those two days or three days I remember telling him late and I was like why are you telling me late and I'll be like because there are just things that are out behind even the moment I told my uncle I don't still have transport money but I did not ask him so I remember one of the good days, it was a Saturday, maybe around one and two somewhere in the afternoon. My phone ring, it's an SMS. It's a, and this SMS is for money. Somebody sent me a e-wallet. It's a huge lot of money. Like, 
if you just look at the money, you'll be like, what? And I said, okay, maybe someone made a mistake. Then I'm, I'm waiting now for that whole Saturday. I'm waiting for someone to call me and ask me for their money. This person did not call. All right, Sunday came. I'm waiting. I'm with my sister and she's jumping like, oh, we are having money. I'm waiting for someone to call. That person did not call. All right. And then I was like, what if this is the miracle? What if this is the miracle? I remember that Sunday, maybe around afternoon, the time I, I came from church, I went, I took some money like, who are you? If someone called you and say, ah, bring, uh, I made a mistake, nobody is calling. So I was like, you know what? I'll go and take some of the money. I went, I took some money. And my dear, that's what is it? That is the testimony. That's how, that is how I was supposed to, that, that, that's how it happened. That's how I got sick. I'm telling you, I didn't imagine that. I was like, where will, sometimes, man, as people, we, we, you pray to God and you try to help God. So you pray to God that, Lord, help me. I want to help me with money. I want to attend my, oh, you want to do something, but you are still having your uncle in your mind. Maybe I'll ask from who, from, that was, that is the reason I think there was just that delay. I remember not asking people, even those that promised, they did not give me anything. Yes, there are people that promised that I'll give you transport money, but up to now, they did not give me anything. But that is how God made everything possible for me. I remember I went to buy my new dress. I remember paying my transport money. And there's these things of people going for photo shoot. I remember I said, you know, I can't pay you my 1000 for a photo shoot or whatsoever. I remember I have my friend, he has an iPhone. I was like, you know what? I'll go there, my friend will take, take me pictures with her phone, with her, with her iPhone. You know, for me, I, I'm just that person. I don't really mind. You know, I don't really mind. I've, and for makeup, I don't do makeup. That, that was not the case. But photos. So I remember one of my dearest uncle. My God bless you. My uncle. The, the, the person that I will forever say I'm grateful to him. He came. He, he the one he took his car he came to take me and my mom money he came with his car a, a very nice car to my surprise he was having a new car and just when he stepped out he's coming he's having a camera oh my god like i'm telling you guys this is god can do things so what I was imagining, I was imagining the iPhone of my friend. Hmm. There go, I was having my own personal photographer. He's going with me at the site. Like, what else can you ask for? See, God, what God cannot do does not exist. He can do exceedingly above what you can imagine. Okay. When I went to this one of my uncle, where I, I went to stay, out of the bro, I never imagined. See, for me, I just wanted there. I attend the ceremony. I get get my degree. I wore my gown, and that's it. He offered me a surprise party. Oh my God! Like I never imagined of that. Like because I don't have things to spend on, but this uncle of mine, you know, some of my family members. They threw me a party. I chopped food for my graduation. I took pictures with my families. Ah, this was so good. I just want to say thank you. And I just want to tell you, if you are listening to this and you are just saved that, how did God do it for me? See, 
put i know it's not easy but for me i think i went through this a second time i was not worrying i was not worrying i just if i when i just read that don't be anxious of anything don't don't be anxious don't worry of what to eat or what to wear i'm telling you that is those are the verse that was in my mind that if god says yes god says yes he can do it that's that was it i just meditated on those words and then i waited on god and god did it for me and i'm here i went there i wore my gown i was looking beautiful i'm telling you i was looking beautiful i just want to thank god for that i just want to tell you to encourage you that he can do it for you if you believe and you have faith that he is a god that answer by prayer <laughs> answer your prayers if you ask anything in the name of Jesus God will do it unless it's not your time unless it's it's not your time but if it's what he you want and he agrees with it God will do it so if you have come this far thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you have enjoyed my testimony if you have anything to say leave it in the comment section Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.